Look what you did. Fixed UI to be closer to the original. Okay, maybe that's actually a good thing. I don't know. It depends. It depends on your perspective. So check this out. I said I wasn't going to play the weekly anymore. Then they re-rolled the weekly. There's some good foods in here. There's some animals who have like a pseudo synergy. I'm, I'm ready to give it a try again. On start of battle, swap stats of two adjacent friends. I just like you. I just think you're, you're kind of like a cool dude, honestly. I would take a fish and another fish. I don't know, by the way. Uh, I think I'd rather do it like this. Um, no, this is stupid. Um, let me be a salty boogeyman. There's a little bit of a pun in there. I don't think this squad is great right now, but you never know what the future holds for us, right? It holds a draw. That's nice. Also, I don't know what this weekly has. I'm, I'm flying by the seat of my pants. I just am very grateful that I was told that it's not um, as scuffed. <laughs> I respect that and I appreciate that. Let's... Um, I don't really, the swap doesn't matter. I took a frog in the hopes that maybe we could get another, uh, like a level two frog early and then use it as like a pseudo tamarind sort of enabler, but it's not that big of a deal either way. This one smells like, uh, smells like, uh, smells like a draw to me. But we got a level coming up. We can also buy a second level via the duck if we so choose to. I don't know, I gotta think about it. Start me here. Snail is not relevant. Level me again. Ox seems very relevant. I think a 5-6 with melon armor could go off. Like, that that seems kind of insane mode to me. And then, let's just make not enough gold. That makes, that makes perfect sense. We'll freeze a snail on one gold, sure. Apples, dude! We haven't seen apples in the game in so long! I must be the only fool on the planet who's excited about the... You know, a one, uh, one buff, but still, hold on, hold on. I'm being proved mm, incorrect. I'm being proved incorrect. We draw yet again. But I'm already feeling a little bit better about what's going on in this weekly. I like it. I don't think the pug really makes a lot of sense for us. If we're going to swap the duck stats, which seems really likely, let's buff it. Wait a minute. I think what I just said might have made no sense at all. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. I'm going to buff it again, because at this point, I'm pot committed. I just feel like a 1-3 duck at the front after the swap is really bad if we run into a blowfish, but maybe not that bad if we run into other stuff. We lose this one. No, we draw this one yet again. <laughs> I can't lose or win. Okay, you know what? You had your chance. Get unfrozen. We're going to talk about this. Garlic doesn't really fit this team right now. Jellyfish makes a lot of sense. Am I, I'm willing to sell an ox. Place a jellyfish. We got, we got some levels potentially incoming pretty soon. Not yet, though. Although, I could combine you and then put a pug out here to, to get you to level, and then you would get one health and one attack. The, it's just like... We lose out on a permanent 1-1 one, one buff if we just get a fish, man. Plus, I heard there's chocolate this week. I mean, we haven't lost any HP so far. This team is detritus, just to be clear. But at some point in the future, maybe it could do something. Not on this round, though. On this round, we're in for a world of hurt. We're in for a lot of trouble. A duck. We don't really want it, I'm sorry to say. I'm sorry to say. I'm not sorry to say. Can I go sickle mode on you? Sell me? This is not smart. Or maybe it's genius. Buy me? Place me? Combine me again? Immediately buffalo me? I don't really know why we would want to have uh, like a 12-12 buffalo instead of a 12-12 fish. I guess it doesn't matter that much, but that felt really smart. <laughs> I have no idea 
if it actually was, but it felt like like I was a genius. Maybe, I mean, we want our strongest unit at the front usually, so at least we accomplish that. That felt like a very fortuitous shop for us to get, and that, what, a, what a bombastic way to get your first win as well. Definitely we want to keep the jellyfish going here. Definitely we want you to have some garlic. I think it's a little late for a giraffe. I don't really see Mantis doing it for us. Um, I mean, just to be honest, I, I like the bison getting the stats. I thought that maybe it wouldn't be that relevant, but I like the bison getting the... I was going to sell the frog and take the pug, then level up the jellyfish. The jellyfish would get 1-1, one, one, and then it would get 2-2 two, two from the clownfish, too. We'd lose an 8-6. But I, I think I prefer fishing for a genuine level. If I do level links, to be clear. Yes, fishing for a genuine level, doing a permanent stat swap, then maybe adding a lynx. It'd be nice to get a level 2 jellyfish before we did. Like, the only scaler we really have is the is the bison. And it's doing work. But it means we, you know, we're, we're kind of locked into this level 1 bison right now. It'd be nice to take it a, a step further. But for now, how about one of these? But now you're in 11-9. But you're not swapping stats. It's like, it's not even that good to swap the stats from, like, the fish to the bison. Because we have to keep our fish around anyway. Maybe we just keep an 11-9 frog around, and then we say goodbye to the clownfish instead. What about fox scaling? So let's see what we got. We got chocolate, we got sushi, we got pears, we got... Can I tell you something? With, with God as my witness, I just, I'm taking a lynx because it's more fun. I'm invoking the, the fun principle on this one. Um, what's fun about it? Uh, it can kill like a good unit before it pops, which ruins an opposing team. Plus, it, it just looks funny seeing the shots through the air. Hey, if I'm wrong, then why did my opponent have one? Riddle me this. We win these. Dude, this weekly is so much better. I'm so much more satisfied with this. <laughs> not just because, I mean, I'm not even doing better, really. I have three wins. That's not that incredible. Not in love with any of these animals. You know what? Give me one of those then. Give me some garlic. Garlic on my fish, boys. I mean, yeah, my fish. I don't think we're can canning. I do really want to get a cow. Uh, okay. But, like, what do you sell to get a cow popping? You sell the frog, but, like, you're not getting any value out of swapping the stats. You're getting the, the world's smallest amount of value out of it. I, I think it has to be done. You could sell the jellyfish also, just to be just to be completely clear with you. I, I just don't feel comfortable selling my lynx. And if you got a problem with that, I, I feel bad for you, son. Um, I would freeze this. We, we could sell and take something else. I mean, sell a cow, buy a squirrel. Then the chocolate is cheaper. You're only making your team slightly worse. But... I just, I don't feel like, I, let me put it this way. I feel like the rolls are more valuable. And that's exactly how that went down. We still have 7 HP too, which is kind of crazy. If you have to, you could sell a cow, buy a snail, buy a jellyfish, take it to level 2. This one hurts a little. Or does it? I'm going to say it does. <laughs> but only a little. We weren't off by too much here. This, the hippo got us, got us pretty good. We're still not on lethal. Which, this gives us a chance to go like this. Go like this. We could swap stats at round start. Do we actually care about that? I think the answer is no. I love the idea of a leopard. I don't know if I see us getting it out here. Can I tell you something I do love? What about a fox? And then we buy a fortune cookie. So that the fox is forced to steal the chocolate. I love that animation because people hate it. Um, and maybe that allows us to uh, get a level two fox out there a little faster. And then we're feeling pretty good about ourselves. See, we've got creative decision making processes here. I, you, you're not doubling effects yet, but I would love it if you stole a pizza. I would just feed a buffalo right now. We add a lynx for sure. Honestly, I would buy the sushi so that the fox is guaranteed to steal the pizza. I would describe our current scaling as a little on the slow side. 
but um, not too far off. Uh, uh, crit me, crit me, a little crit, a little. Oh, that's huge. <laughs> I feel like we're playing against some weird teams too, like the double polar bear team. That's a little that's a little funky. Romy. For me personally, it's hard not to just do this and give you a 6-6 six, six buff. None of these are great foods or units. That's a great food. That's a great unit. I if you eat the can, so be it. You ate you ate the, the chicken drumstick. I don't know if that's that good, considering you're kind of just on the team. You don't really do anything. You took a shot for us. I do appreciate that. Holy cow. Dude, I, I can't pretend like that's skill. That's the greatest fortune cookie of all time. Uh, I know losing to RNG is very frustrating. But have you ever considered how awesome it is to win thanks to RNG? <laughs> it feels great. I would like the fox to honestly scale himself. I think the melon over garlic is a good upgrade right now. On 50 uh, HP with the first melon, we're asking for trouble because we could get lethal. I'm just hoping it doesn't come to that. Oh, they bought a cow and screwed up their team. It may or may not matter. It mattered a great deal. Thank you. Thank you. Or maybe they bought a lion and screwed up their team. I don't know. Probably not. You're an interesting... You know what? You wouldn't scale in the shop. Do you need to scale now with three wins? Or would we rather have a white tiger? The, the problem with the white tiger is going to go after the lynx right now. But it would give us three levels, which would then have you gain a bunch of stats. Can I tell you something? I just think this is funny. I know you're not going to go before... No, I have to get you to go before the lynx goes. But you are giving a 6-6 six, six buff to the jellyfish. Which is kind of funny in and of itself. We'll get you close. We'll get you close. Seven. What if the fox eats the pizza and it feeds the white tiger? Freeze the pizza. I don't want a pair. I'm taking a, a big chance here. Double, double pizza. Freeze me. Roll me. Lynx me. Dude, this jellyfish is about to pop off. Feed the feed the, the tiger. The tiger. The tiger. Oh, you fed a boat. I wasn't specific enough. <laughs> it's all right. It's still great for our jellyfish. We probably lose this one. Holy cow, that's good luck. We still lose, but that's okay. That was that was funny. We're on one. We're being creative, okay? You need this. We don't... I, I want to feed the lynx, but first I want to give you some stats, man. You got to get the jellyfish going. Don't... You know what? Lynx being level 2 is better than whatever ridiculous strat we were just going to try to run. Because at least it's going to be a guaranteed level 2. It won't get to level 3, but still. I think that matters more. I feel smart. Still feeling smart. Okay. Now we have a level 3 too, so our bison is actually working. We don't need our bison to hit level 2. It's irrelevant. Roll me. Sure. Huge. Now our lynx is going to go the frick off. I don't want our fox to steal garlic. I would love it if our fox stole a melon. If it steals meat, it could be worse. That's still... I, I'll live with that. I think we're not scaling fast enough still. But 8 is still... I find that... Uh, um, my moves? My moves? Am I crazy here to think that I... Did my tiger just never get a chance to go off? Anyway, I'm still... I know I said I was going to be happy with 8, and then I immediately started complaining. But I, I genuinely am happy with 8. I'm also happy with this. Probably lose round one. Round two, we go off. <laughs> yeah. Let me be an awkward astronaut. Like it was really awkward when that astronaut Buzz Aldrin punched that uh, idiot in the face who said that the moon landing wasn't real. That wasn't what you were thinking of? Okay, well, my mistake. How about one of these? Mm, I, I'm, eh, I, just, I just say meh to it. I, that's what I do. I say meh. And you know what? It's theoretically possible we buy two frogs next turn. It would be a 4-3... 
that is close to leveling, I don't know if we care about the fact that it's leveling at all. Because I, I don't... I, 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 level, level 2 seems interesting. Level 3 seems cool, too. We definitely level. We definitely giraffe. Maybe we say no to the frogs, even though there's two, two of them. I think we're just on a different strategy right now. Let's basically buy any unit. Like, an elephant can just be here for ballast. And then feed your giraffe one of these sons of guns to make your, your ladybugs a little bit better. So we got a 6-8 ladybug at the front. That's a relatively strong unit for our present section of the game. Yeah. And then the rest of our squad just sort of exists, but this is, this is a good opportunity, I think, to possibly farm early game wins. I don't think we care about a beetle, but we should do something with our gold. And it could be as simple, I think, as like cupcake, cupcake, really trying to guarantee the victory here. And then I'll go, I'll go sicko mode on you. I'll go apple. We're about to unlock the next tier of units. I think if you come across an 1820 on round four, you just say, you know what? The gods of Super Auto Pets said, don't let this guy win this one. They got pretty, this team actually is like a, a pretty solid counter for what we had going on. You just can't get past a 1920. It's just, it's too good. Okay, another ladybug. I think I put you here, honestly. And then, I mean, apples were on t tier three. We got garlic and we got um, lollipop. I freeze two apples, roll once. Don't see anything that tickles my fancy too much. And I go, guess what? Keep the scaling going. I would like garlic on this ladybug, but we froze two apples instead. Holy cow. <laughs> they also have a very strong team. Yeah, we lose this one, I think. That is a strong team. And their stats are permanent, which is not fair. I See, I was keeping it honorable by running temporary strats. I love this, though. I say goodbye to you. I add you to the squad. I don't love the units we have here, necessarily, but we could make you a level 3 and then... Freeze me. You, you are not relevant, unless we want two level threes. Call me crazy. You can say it. You can say it. You can say this man's crazy. I won't take offense to it. Dragonfly distributed buffs in a horrible way. I mean, unless they reverted it back. The Dragonfly has moved to randomly selecting units that match the criteria, by the way. It's, it's, you no longer, at least as of the last update, you no longer needed the Psycho placement. I'm thinking two level two Ladybugs goes off until it doesn't. I'm thinking we feed you again. I'm thinking we feed you again. Elephant can go and be replaced with a dolphin. At least if the dolphin gets the buff, we don't really mind. I'll give the dolphin a pineapple. It's a pretty cheap upgrade. Wait a minute. It's, it seems, based on my sample size of two, it seems like it's back on psycho upgrades. Maybe they decided that they enjoyed the way that the psycho upgrades made them feel. And you know what? If that's the case, so be it. We're still here. Takes us to five. Okay, that seems really good. Let's start there. Gotta be honest with you. Start to feel like maybe um, you can fit on the squad pretty easily. But because we don't have any other tier fives, we know we can do this. And then we can pop you out and you'll be a 9-9. Nine -nine. But we could also just wait and can you a little bit. Like this is a viable upgrade. We get great stats out of it. Next turn, we could maybe... Can, we don't have to always feed the ladybug. We could can, combine the ladybugs, or combine the ladybugs can. Oh, sorry, I'm getting lost in the sauce a little bit, as they say. Combine the ladybugs can. Buy the lion, feed the lion a pair. And the lion is still, or the ladybugs, ladybug in this case, is still getting a, a wicked upgrade just because we're buying food in general. So I think this is 
I know we're, the problem is we're not going to get an upgrade off of this. Like we're not going to get a tier six. But I'm not sweating. I love this shop. I love that. Can me. I love to see that. I didn't know that that was going to work, but I'll take it. I'm still going to buy you. And honestly, rather than needlessly taking you to a level 1.5, I'm just going to work you out here. Now, you should take the stats instead of the ladybug. But we finally found a worthy successor to the ladybug. And then just remember, you can't pivot the squad too much now. But we have like a 2018 or a 1918 on the team. Don't, don't crit me. The worst part about that is I deserve it because I got so many lucky crits last time. Feeling really good about this one. On seven wins, I'm feeling fantastic. Hey, why don't you take some garlic, which will also buff our ladybug? Why don't you just take one of those? Hey, why don't you take one of these, which will also buff our ladybug? And remember, you can't take stronger units. Like, you can't take higher tier units. And I love the way the dragonfly is buffing right now. I would love more dolphins, but... It's an it's a incredibly strong team. You did great work there. Congratulations. I would sell a giraffe. I would still sell a giraffe. We just need to find a unit that would actually work for it. Because right now it is, it's a 10-8 that gives 1-1 one, one per turn. Leveling it is too expensive. It has to be something cheap or like low tier so that a lion uh, doesn't get disabled. It's tricky because we could always just purchase food for you. We really don't need a level 3 lion because this dude's already maxed out. Honestly, I think a bat actually matters. It might not do a lot for us right now. <laughs> or it might, you never know. But I think overriding one piece of equipment potentially is more important than the 1-1 stat bonus. And I'm not sweating our last uh, game. Now that's when things go wrong, but... I'm not sweating our last game. I think we just played against somebody who had an incredible team. With no Toad in the pack, we gotta, we gotta get some overwrites in there. I would. I would. I would love to buy some food. You, you really need it, even though it replaces the garlic. I'm still gonna keep you back. Ah, oh, there's chili peppers in the pack. Maybe we'll move you up one. We got a pear. Although there's meat in the pack, so maybe we should consider meat instead. Okay, this is strong. Hey, bat me! Bat me! <laughs> it worked! It worked exactly in the perfect way. Okay, we don't need a dragonfly. Focus on some buffs. You're already maxed and relaxed and all cool. This might just be an opportunity to, like, get your ladybug popping. Okay? The only units we can buy here are bear or tamarind. So I think we actually just take a... We basically buy a cupcake for our ladybug by swapping the stats of our bat. Why our bat? Sometimes an action having no result is the best case. Like when you think you pooped your pants and then you go to the bathroom and you pull down your trousers and actually all you see is cotton. What can I tell you? That's exactly what just happened to us. Fun run, nice 10 piece. Feeling like I like the game again? Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.